tasty on a hot summer day. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, our next guest is the Alamo City Award winning Brew Stillery and they're ready for summer with a brand new beer and fun, fresh cocktails. And Harley Gadamowski, the distiller from Ranger Creek Gadam. Gadomski. Gadomski, Gadomski, that's correct. Yeah. My apologies. <laughs> it's okay. He is the brewmaster. He brought all the goodies with him here from Ranger Creek Distillery. All right, making three cocktails here with your award-winning libations, right? That is correct. All right, what's the first one we're All right, making? first one is going to be the No Rye or Reason. So what this is, it's going to be a strawberry and, and cucumber-infused rye. It's got some chili bitters on the inside. Go ahead and you can just dash that straight in there. Perfect. Okay. That's the perfect amount. And then it's also got some fresh lime juice and some uh, house-made simple syrup in there as well. Uh, one, two, So it's going to be really nice light refreshing semi-sweet with that nice like chili tincture pop on the back end which makes you want to keep going back for a second sip every single time this says strawberry cucumber rye yeah so what i did is uh what we do is we take our 44 rye uh pour about two bottles of it into a mason jar mm -hmm. and then we take uh, fresh strawberries and fresh cucumber dice those up throw it in there wait about four days and you got strawberry cucumber infused rye whiskey Really? Oh, I, yeah. didn't know, I didn't know you could infuse whiskey like that. Yeah, it's super easy. You can actually infuse any kind of spirit like that as long as it's a high proof spirit. So nutritionally, anything over 80 proof is what mm -hmm. you're going to want to do on that. And you said this is a double strain. Double strain, yeah, because there will be some strawberry and some uh, cucumber bits still left in there. So you want to get those out of the cocktail so you're not getting in those weird kind of pops of extra flavor in there. Perfect, and then all you're gonna do is you're gonna garnish that with that nice dehydrated lime. If you don't have dehydrated lime, you can also just use a fresh lime as well. Oh, and yeah. then it is cheers. Like I said, you're gonna get that nice like chili like pepper pepperness Ooh, on the whoa. back end. Whoa, that's got a it kick, kicks little, to, little it. Kick yeah, to it. Yes, it indeed. I wasn't expecting that. So, all right, what is the uh, the next one we're making? Yeah, right so here? the next one's gonna be the smoking barrel. So this is gonna be our take on an old fashioned, uh, but utilizing our rim fire, which is gonna be a mesquite smoked single malt. Uh, it has chocolate and black malt on the inside, so it gives you like this nice dark chocolate smokiness. Mm -hmm. And pairing that well with some house made chocolate bitters, some house made orange bitters. And then the actual rim fire itself. And then just to round off some of that sweetness, may I grab that simple syrup bottle from oh, you if you don't certainly mind? Certainly, sir. Appreciate that. And then we add a little bit of simple syrup to it. Give it a stir. Give it a little stir just to help the dilution to bring out, uh, to take down some of that alcohol burn. Mm -hmm. And then what we're doing that makes this a little bit different, we're gonna truly make it that smoking barrel by adding a little bit of cherry wood to the top of it. And then we smoke it. And by doing that, it's going to infuse some of those cherry wood smoke flavors, pairing it well with that mesquite wood that we use on the rim fire itself. And it's going to have this nice bellowing effect once we take it off. Oh, wow. And then we garnish it with a house made brandied cherry. And then go okay. ahead and give that one a try. That looks almost too pretty to drink, but <laughs> I will. So, okay. Like I said, you're going to get those nice chocolatey orange notes and oh, that wow. oh. cherry wood comes out the very end. Very deep, deep flavors uh -huh. there. So what exactly is a brew stillery? Uh, so a brew stillery is where we are a brewery and a distillery, but all in the same facility. So we're Texas's first ever brew stillery. Um, so what we do is we make all the beer and all the whiskey on premise on the same system, which is which differentiates us from a lot of other places that do what we do as well. You're located over there on the uh, northeast side, and that's where you can go for classes as well. Exactly, yeah. We're going to be holding uh, cocktail classes monthly. Our first one is going to be uh, June 23rd. It's going to be a Friday, and we're going to be doing cocktail classes. Uh, this one's going to be a whiskey-based cocktail class, and I'm going to be featuring some fun cocktails. And the, and the classes are different because you think, well, okay, you know, it's just here, mix this, mix this, but it's a little more involved in that. Yeah, right? so what we do is we try and get you to make the, get the ingredients locally sourced that you can all make at home. So when it comes to the bitters, I'm going to teach you guys how to make bitters as you go throughout that process, showing you guys how to do the infusions on different types of liquors as well, and then also how to make all of our juices and all the simple syrup so that way you can have everything just ready at home. And you can find all this at uh, any place else where you find all the libations around <laughs> exactly. town. Thank you very much, sir. There's lots of summer fun happening at Ranger Creek. Don't miss the Blondtastic 80s themed release party, by the way, because of their new beer that is coming out, the Blondtastic, and the uh, cocktail classes are June 23rd. For more information, just snap that QR code and go to salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Harley, thank you very much, sir. Any time. All right, coming up on SA Live, they're giving San Antonio kids a peek into the future where your children can learn and have a little fun while dreaming about tomorrow. That is straight ahead.
exhibit here at the museum for the whole family to enjoy. It's called Dream Tomorrow Today, and we are here at the Future Lab. Okay, I have my cape, I've got my hat. Now, we are gonna create our own little person here. Here we go. Woo! Oh my God. Hello, Meredith. Okay, I'm <laughs> like a kid here. Hi, Meredith. Toby joins me now. Tell me all about this new exhibit. I'm having fun already, if you can't tell. Yes, I can tell. <laughs> Welcome to the Future Lab. Thank you, thank you. So what is it all about? All right, so this is Dream Tomorrow Today. So it's all about kids working on their STEM skills to create their imagined and desired future. So all the choices that they make throughout the whole exhibition, it's saved on that RFID tag, and that affects the entire world. So we're learning about how our actions affect everything, and together we can make our best possible future. I love that. Now you have a team here that put this together. Tell me about the process for this. Yeah, so this was all internally designed at the Duseum. Mm -hmm. um, so we have a fantastic designer, technician, who all helped put this together and who built part of it as well. Um, and it'll be here at the Duseum and then it's gonna travel nationally. Wow. So we'll really get to be able to have the Duseum and San Antonio out into the world and showcasing the incredible things that we have going on here. Got it, okay, so we saw the slide, but what other features do you have here that people can come and enjoy? The kids and the adults too. Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> um, well, we have our lake of balls here. We kinda can jump into the lake here. We are gonna clean up the lake. Okay. Um, so we are now teenagers. So what yes. do teenagers like to do? They like to float the river, right? Yes. We also need to be good stewards of the environment. Yes. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna clean up the lake. Um, and we're gonna try to improve our nature power points that will help the yes. overall, the whole world. <laughs> Love that. So you go for the one, the colorful ones. Yeah, yeah, go for yes, the colorful that is, ones and that, that's our trash. We don't want this in yeah, here. Yeah, we want that All out right. of the lake. Yes, <laughs> all right. So what we're doing yes. right here, this is the City Lab. Okay. So um, we're using large scale augmented reality and we're gonna place these tiles down and then we kind of pick it up and, uh, okay, so here's, we got an art museum here. <laughs> we just need to grab uh -huh. it, yeah. And then, and we'll, then this one. If we wanna grab one more. Yep. There we go, oh, here we got a hospital. Oh, oh okay. no, a doctor's office, yeah. There we go. Um, All right, oh, and a hospital as well. So we have a pretty go. good, well-rounded yeah. city here. We're nice and safe. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. And that's yeah. what the museum's all about, being interactive, right? Making it yes. fun for everybody. Yeah, so we're all about, you can touch, play, create with every single thing at the museum. So oh. it's all about interactive learning, joyful learning. So it's got an educational underpinning, but it's still fun. <laughs> yes, yes. And this is something, how long will it be here? Um, it'll be here until mm -hmm. September 24th. Okay. So we've got all summer. I'm really hoping that, um, one, children will develop their own STEM identity. So they'll think of themselves as STEM learners and STEM creators and use that to create a better future for us all. And the Duseum presents Dream Tomorrow Today from June 10th through September 24th. You can take the whole family to experience it. And for more information, you can give them a call 210-212-4453 or visit the website theduseum.org. Thank you, Meredith. Still ahead on SA Live, Fiona's back out at SeaWorld swimming with the dolphins. More summer fun is on the way. And next, from the books, the movies, to right here in South Texas, how you and your little ones can meet some of your favorite fairy tale princesses. You don't want to miss this. You're watching SA Live. <laughs> Dad, you're gonna Welcome back to SA Live. Well, it's going to be the largest collection of princesses, including Jasmine and Snow White, <laughs> since the coronation of King Charles, and you can be there. Kayla Gavin, who is the owner of Once Upon a Party, is here to get us ready for the Grand Princess Ball, and yes, oh, this is so fun. Princesses <laughs> in a big party, right? It's magical. Tell us all about it. Uh, we are so excited to be hosting this event. It's for all ages, all families, um, and we'll have, like you said, all of our princesses. We'll also have some other special characters that we're not announcing yet, so there'll be a surprise. Ah. Um, but it's going to be a lot of fun for the whole family. Lots of meet and greets, photos, dance parties, 
all the princess things. <laughs> what's what's it like when you see the little girls come up to their their heroes, their princesses? Yes, oh, it's truly so fulfilling. I mean, this is it's why we do what we do. You know, we love to be able to bring that magic to life for every person that we meet, and even better when it's our closest friends and families and followers that are all around. And where is this going to be? This is going to be at Knowles Crossing Events uh, Center, which is in New Braunfels. Uh, it's a wedding venue right out there. Okay, and mm -hmm. you have other, uh, you have how many different characters? We have, oh goodness, we have a lot. <laughs> we have superheroes, <laughs> we have villains, our princesses, we have adventure characters, so um, swimming mermaids. I mean, we kind of do a little bit of everything for all the seasons. And this is kind of a, obviously a special event, but you mm -hmm. can go to parties, you can go to birthday parties. Yes, absolutely. So we can be a service to you, um, or we do host our own where you can, our own events where you can come and, and partake in what we, the magic we create. Um, but yes, we love those intimate settings where we're doing birthday parties, family reunions, company events, all sorts of things. Do you have a favorite princess? Ooh, you know, I'm partial to Jasmine. Oh. I do. She was always my favorite growing up, so Sorry, it's pretty White. magical. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. And you have a little uh, princess trivia. Yes, I do. Okay, a couple questions for you. Okay. So, uh, who was the very first Disney princess? Snow White. Yes, very good. <laughs> Okay, this one is a little tougher. This princess famous pose was inspired by a statue in Copenhagen, Denmark. Uh, Cinderella. Not quite. I, oh, I gotta keep guessing. Um, um, <laughs> I can tell you. <laughs> Jasmine. Nope, it was Ariel. Oh, oh, okay, yep. okay. <laughs> okay, which princess's name means beautiful in French? Uh, Belle. Yes, very good. All right, this one is a fun one. Which, uh, sorry, who is considered to be a Disney princess but not an actual princess in her movie? Uh, Belle. Not quite. No. No, that's true though, but okay. no. <laughs> who? It's Mulan. Oh, she was okay. a warrior. Yeah. All right. Yes. Well, hey, you can find out about all princesses. <laughs> Don't miss the Grand Princess Ball presented by Once Upon a Party. It's happening Saturday, June 17th at Knowles Crossing in New Braunfels. There are two sessions to choose from. For times and tickets, we set up a link on our website, salive.com. Just click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Ladies, thank you very much. And thank princesses. You. And <laughs> our Princess Fiona is out there at SeaWorld. Oh yes, and of course, at SeaWorld, there are rides, there are shows, but there are of course, the animals. We are in the water with the dolphins here at Discovery Point and gonna preview how you can do this with the whole family. And what a deal. You can get a free burger from Whataburger. Our deal of the day is next. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, it's time for our deal of the day, and this is a good one. If you sign up for the Whataburger Rewards Program, you get a free Whataburger. All you have to do is sign up. You can redeem it with your next order using the mobile app. Along with that, every time you order online or scan your QR code at the store, you earn points and redeem those for more Whataburger items. Start earning your rewards now. There's a link on SALive.com. Just scan that QR code on your screen or go to the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, summer fun continues, and I saw Fiona is having a really, really good time out there at SeaWorld. Hey, Fiona. Hey there, yes, we are here at Discovery Point and we are in the water with the fabulous dolphins and of course the fabulous Luke Fitzgibbon, senior animal trainer here at Discovery Point. And who do we have here who's getting fabulous treats? Cause I've got something behind my back. This is bliss again, <laughs> yeah. So one of the most important things we're gonna do here is build relationships with our animals. It's fundamental to how we do all of the training. And of course, one of the easiest way to do that is by feeding them. You wanna go ahead and give her those oh, fish you got? There you go. Toss them on in. Yay! But that's just a small part of how we're gonna do that. Oh, that's it, that's all I have, I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we also can give them lots of things like rub downs, which okay. I'm gonna have you do. Get in there, love on Miss Bliss. Aww. Yeah. We wow. can give them ice, jello. Some of our dolphins love it when we dive into the water and swim with them. Really, the sky's the limit in how we can reinforce and build our relationship with these guys. And once you have a good relationship with the animals, you can start asking them for it, some behavior. So okay. I'm gonna have you ask Miss Bliss for her piranha impersonation. Okay. You know the daddy shark song, yes. or the baby shark. Yes. You're gonna be daddy shark. Put your hands out there. Oop, there Oop. you go, one, two, three. There we go. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Look right up here. Woo! There we go. 
Great job, Miss <laughs> okay, Bliss. Okay, nice job. Yeah. All now, right. She can also mimic some dance moves. How are okay. your dance moves, Siona? Oh, they're all right. Yeah, <laughs> you can handle this one. All okay. I'm gonna have you do is put your hands up over your head, okay. spin around like a beautiful ballerina, and look at Miss Bliss. Oh, uh, look at her go! <laughs> yeah. Okay. Not only is Bliss an excellent dancer, she's also a fantastic singer. We're gonna have you ask her for some of her different vocalizations. Okay. The first one, what I'm gonna have you do, put your hand out just like this, thumb up, pinky down, and wiggle that hand back and forth, bounce it up and down. <laughs> Yeah. Thank we, you, Miss Bliss. We call that one her monkey noise. <laughs> okay. Now, we're gonna have you ask her for another one. Put your hand out like this, mm -hmm. and this time you're just gonna wiggle those fingers back and forth. Whoa! Perfect. Hi. She's right. wondering why I don't have fish. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Luckily, Bliss and I have been working together a long time, so she knows that we're gonna do all sorts of different fun stuff. We don't always need fish to have fun, right, no. Bliss? Yeah. So, I'm gonna have you ask her for one more fun vocalization. Okay. You're gonna put your hand up under your elbow just like this. On the count of three, drop that elbow for me. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> Bliss. Excuse Ooh, you. That silly noise. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Now, of course, folks can come and do a dolphin interaction, one of the many animal interactions available here at SeaWorld, right? Yeah, you just sign up right at the Tiki Hut or online, pick which animal you want to meet, come put a wetsuit on, and then you get to come hang out with us. And of course, there is the dolphin show as well, right? We do have our beluga whale and dolphin show over at our beluga, our presentation over at our beluga stadium, as well as our orca show, our presentation, and our sea lion presentation at Sea Lion and Orca Stadium, respectively. All right, and of course, the summer spectacular happening right now, all the way yeah. through August. So some sizzling summer fun, even at night here at SeaWorld. And for more information, all you have to do is head to SeaWorld. Dot com. Thank you, Bliss. She's gonna give you a nice big wave. Goodbye with her tail. <laughs> oh, that just, oh, that's so cool. I'm very, very jealous. Hey, if you wanna go out there and see all of those great shows, right now go to salive.com for your chance to win a family four pack of tickets to SeaWorld and good luck. All right, next on SA Live, the summer blockbuster season has started. We'll tell you about what hit theaters today and more fun things to do around town. Don't miss what's happening. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, of course, there's always so much happening in the Alamo City and from movies to parades, it's going to be a busy weekend. So here's a look at what's happening this weekend. Prime. This is about the fate of all living things. Unicron is coming. I wish I had Optimus Prime's voice. Anyway, Optimus Prime and the Autobots are back in Transformers Rise of the Beasts. This time they are teaming up with a new faction of Transformers called the Maximals who can change into Cybertronic animals. They face a new threat capable of destroying the entire planet. This is a sequel to the Bumblebee movie and set in the 1990s. So if you haven't seen that, you might want to catch up. Transformers Rise of the Beast is out today. The Bud Light Pride River Parade and Celebration is back for the second year. It's happening tomorrow. Now, the parade's going to run twice, each with more than 17 colorful barges. It's going to be in the downtown reach of the San Antonio River from 4 to 5 p.m. and the museum reach from 7 to 8 p.m. Vocalist, songwriter, drag performer Ada Box is the, this year's Grand Marshal. Riverdance is celebrating its 25th anniversary. The groundbreaking high energy show celebrating Irish and international dance is back like never before. They've reimagined the show with new visual effects, staging and costumes. Performances are tonight through Sunday at the Majestic Theater and I can't wait to see that tonight. The third annual San Antonio Enchiladas Festival is happening tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. There's gonna be vendors, dancers, ponies, a DJ and lots and lots of enchiladas free and open to the public. You just have to pay for parking. The event is family and pet friendly. And if you'd like to find more weekend adventures, check out things to do in San Antonio.com for links to all that happening. Just snap the QR code on your screen right there or just go to SALive.com. Okay, Monday on SA Live, we are looking ahead to Father's Day. We want to give Dad a gift you will never forget. How you can capture memories in a brand new way. Plus, he was a beloved personality here in the Alamo City. See how two friends are keeping the memory of radio host Russia Rush alive and how they are giving back in his name. It's Monday on SA Live. And right now, are there rooms in your house that are just really too warm, even with the AC on full blast? 
Well, your local expert, John Wayne Service Company, can fix that. Take a look. Hi, I'm Brian from John Wayne Service Company. Today we're going to investigate a customer who has an airflow issue in one of their bedrooms. Let's go check it out. Okay, we're here at the customer's house. We've got some diagnostic tools. We're going to go down uh, the checklist and do an evaluation for them. Our first step today is going to check the air conditioner. We're going to look at the fan speed, make sure that's correct. So we've checked the fan speed and the airflow is correct. Right now we're going to check the airflow in the problem room. This is called a flow hood. It's just going to measure how much airflow is actually coming out of our vent here. So it's very important that we check each room, not just the problem room. We want to make sure we're looking at each room individually and then the house as a whole. So this is a room by room drawing of our house. It has all of the duct work, where the unit is located, and then each room individually. Now that we've measured every room and taken a look at the numbers, we did find an imbalance for our problem room. We need to put more air in that room. So the next step is gonna be making some adjustments to the ductwork and some of the dampers to get more air flow in that room. Okay, so we've made a great improvement there. That's exactly what we want. What we found was it was a little bit low, so I was able to add some more airflow to that through the adjustments that we made. End result is that it improved 20% in that room. Oh, that's so lot. that's gonna be a big improvement for you. Yep. Okay, we're all finished up. We got some increased airflow in their bedroom. The customers are very happy. I'm Brian from John Wayne. If you feel like you have any issues like that in your house, give us a call or visit us at johnwayne.com. Yes, summer is here, and you need to find a neat place to go to. Oh, Linda, going to Hollywood and San Francisco. Take a little trip to the West Coast. That should be nice. A beach getaway. Yes, nothing like tossing, getting your toes in the sand right there, heading on down to the beach. We're going to be doing that, I think, in, in a couple of weeks. Don't forget to go to SALive.com, and not only can you check out all the things going on this weekend, but vote for Market Square, because in USA Today, it has been nominated as one of the best markets in the country. Now it's up against 19 others, so come on San Antonio, we can do it. Get on there, you can vote once a day, every day, up until I believe it's July 3rd. And again, all the rules there are on the uh, on SALive.com. Okay, have a fantastic weekend everybody. Make sure you stay cool. We will see you on Monday.